Mistakes to avoid on a first date. Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we'll be discussing a fascinating subject. We're going to be talking about the mistakes to avoid on a first date. I hope this video will be helpful to someone who is planning a first date or is about to go on a first date. So let's get started. First dates don't always have to be awkward no matter what kind of relationship you're looking for. Long-term commitment or a one-night stand. In the end, it's all about how we come across to the other person. Your first date will be more enjoyable if you avoid the pitfalls listed above. Disregarding your appearance. Keeping your personal hygiene and dressing properly are critical when it comes to dating. Confidence, style and interests are all reflected in your appearance. Making an impression on your date is an excellent way to demonstrate to the other person how much you value their opinion. Wearing something comfortable is always a plus. Making an untimely arrival. If you don't arrive on time, the rest of the date could be in total jeopardy. When you arrive late, you send the message that you don't care about their time, which sets the stage for a bad impression. Apologize if you're running late and give them a heads up. The habit of talking a lot about yourself. It is important to maintain a 50-50 split between talking about yourself and asking your date about themselves. When you're on your first date with your partner, you don't want to spend the entire date listening to them blabber on about themselves. You should try to avoid this as much as you can. Instead, impart information about your partner's personality by posing specific questions. Start with his or her interests, and everything else will fall into place. Asking too many pointless and tedious questions. It can be difficult for people with communication difficulties to answer first date questions effectively. You don't want your potential partner to get bored with your endless stream of random questions. The other person will feel interrogated if you try to play detective by asking too many questions. Showing interest is important, but don't be afraid to take short silence breaks to allow the conversation to flow smoothly. Listen to what the other person has to say too, because it's crucial. Having a conversation about your past relationships. Keep your ex out of the conversation at all costs. There is no need to dwell on the past when you go on a first date with someone new. Don't go on a date until you come to terms with the end of your recent relationship. Having no opinion about most topics. Ensure you talk to your date if he or she says something you're not comfortable with, in a polite way, of course. There is nothing more annoying than someone who agrees with everything you say. Every thought they have is the same as yours, and they don't rebel even if something isn't pleasant to them. One can tell the difference between someone who's willing to stand up for their beliefs and someone who's not. It's very important to tell your date that you don't like sushi or that you don't drink if he or she plans taking you out to dinner at a sushi restaurant or to a cocktail lounge. If you wait until the last minute to express your desires, you might find yourself in a difficult position. Using your smartphone often. People find it difficult to invite you out on a second date when you check your phone every two minutes like a crazy person. A casual conversation with someone who is constantly looking at their phone can be the most obnoxious thing ever. Browsing through Instagram or Facebook posts can wait, but don't post anything during a date unless the date agrees, unless the date specifically allows it. If they later discover you're texting or posting, trust me, it's not going to look good. We've come to the end of today's video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more interesting content.